Okay, so this video covers how to install Adobe Shockwave Player. First we're going to go, this is for actually uh, Internet Explorer 8. This is filmed early in, uh, in February 2010. We're going to adobe.com, A-D-O-B-E dot C-O-M. And from there you'll see down in the corner here we have Get Adobe Shockwave Player. You can also, if you can't see that on your screen or they've moved it at the time you're watching this video, you can also go to Download, Downloads, and Get Shockwave Player. So we're going to click on this. You notice that there's a uh, animation playing in the background there. Uh, that's some of the stuff that you can do with Adobe Shockwave Player. And now you'll see that it, once we've loaded the page, it says uh, free Google Toolbar optional. We're going to uncheck that since we uh, are not going to be using the Google Toolbar. Then we want to agree and install now. And once we click on this, it will initiate the Adobe Shockwave Player installation. Now, this is Internet Explorer 8 on Windows XP Home Edition. Um, this is Service Pack 3. There aren't any security updates that are going to plug us during this install from security security promptings or anything of that nature at this point. Now, if you have um, Vista, uh, Windows 7, or an antivirus that's going to prompt uh, or a firewall that's going to prompt during this installation, you may very well have to click other prompts, allow, what have you. We know that Adobe Adobe Shockwave Player from the Adobe site is a good program and we want to go ahead and let it install so it installing is not going to be a problem. The installation itself is going to run through. Once it finishes the installation uh, we'll get a notification that it's installed successfully. We can close the browser. It's typically a good idea. Close Internet Explorer, reopen Internet Explorer and go back to whatever site it is that we want to go to that we want to test Shockwave, whether it's a Shockwave game or, or something else that we're doing with Shockwave. So the installation is nearing the end. By the way, uh, if you are running, if you are going to a website that's prompting you to download the Shockwave player, make sure you download it from adobe.com. There are sites out there that will make you think that they have a legitimate product for you to download, but they're actually, the site's either been hacked or the site itself is a bill of repute. They're a shady site, say a shady website specifically that once you to download something that really is not the Adobe Shockwave player. It's a virus, it's a Trojan, it's something that's going to get into your computer and cause trouble. So here you see that it's actually unpacking some of the files. The installation process itself isn't, it isn't doing much visibly on the screen, but down in the bottom left next to the start button, uh, it actually says that it's unpacking files. And so it's running through and actually still doing the install. So don't fear at this point it's just at, at this point in the install, the folks at Adobe don't have anything popping up on the screen to tell you, hey, be patient, just wait, it's coming. Uh, and I've seen people uh, panic at this point and refresh their browser or stop and start over, and really they were almost there. So it's finishing some stuff in the background, and we're going to get a notice in the foreground that the installation is complete. If you have an older version, by the way, of Adobe Shockwave Player, you may well want to uninstall it. If you Let's say you get to this point in the install and you get an error of some kind, you may want to go to the control panel and uninstall that old version of the Shockwave Player. Um, also, uh, there's ways of getting rid of the, a broken Shockwave player, so if you have one that's broken that won't let you install or uninstall it, let me know. Have a great day.